and welcome back. Uh, we're in chapter 3-2. Um, oh, I've been having some frame rate issues with this game, especially this level. So I'm just going to push through it. Uh, I've tried changing settings. I've tried locking the frame rate at 30, but uh, I'm not pulling more than about 15 or 20 uh, most of the time, which is just as brutal to watch as it is to play in. So, yeah. Yummy. This looks like a village full of fun right here. Um, yeah, so it may be, um, i go ahead and warn you, it may be a little disorienting, a little jumpy, a little laggy, but um, I'm not planning on being in this area very long, so maybe I'm hoping it's just this area. Uh, I'm tired of restarting and retrying, so... It's a little frustrating, actually. Oh, he raised the ladder. That's a jerk. Yeah, I stomped you. Um, honestly, if I had to guess, I think it's the uh, the rain combined with the water uh, is causing my frame rate drop. And I just completely missed everybody there. Here. Let's just shotgun our way out of here. Take that. Hanging ammo is always nice. And let's pop this guy. Okay. There's a guy with a crossbow up there, I see. Back up a little bit and see if I can pop him. Alright, he's done. Um, okay. Um, so uh, the way you get through this area. Hey, look, our frame rate's back. Roger, get on the raft and so I'll turn the crank. Yeah, you have to turn this crank, or she will turn this crank, and you get to go ride this raft of fun. I'm not going to spoil what happens on the raft. Oh, I hate you, frame rate. Yeah, see, it's fine now, and then I'll decide to just take a massive dip right when something important happens, but, yeah. Hopefully it'll clear up. Riding. Oh! Oh, we have alligators of fun! They think I look tasty. Yeah, and as the difficulty goes up, there are more dodges, and there are also a smaller, you've got a smaller, like, uh, window of opportunity to hit your buttons, so, yeah, just, just forewarning, I guess, on that. Alright. So I put the, the bridge down. And she comes running up to me like an idiot, but even though she knows we're going to be going across this bridge. But oh well. And, you know, as, since last time I have uh, have upgraded, I have, uh, you know. Oh, frame rate, I hate you. Oh. Ding. I don't know how I saw that in this horrendous frame rate, but oh well. Um, Try some. They help fund the BSAA. What the hell are they doing here? 
Alright, uh, fun things. You can run through these, uh, oh, there's a snake. Yeah, you can run through here and find, uh, little gold patches, and actually there's some treasure in here somewhere. But there's also snakes, and they're jerks, and they bite you. So, a grenade that actually might be useful. We got us a uh, first aid spray. Our first BSA emblem, right there. Bing! Alright, uh, let's just get out of here. Um, I'm not going to spend, there's a, oh, I saw something. A jeweled bug. Ooh, a snake. Yeah. I always shoot them Take it. Roger. just because they always drop eggs. Which is never a bad thing because they're worth. Eggs are worth a whole bunch, actually. Um, eggs, white ones are 250, brown are 500. Don't ask. I know that the gold is a thousand, but beyond that, I'm kind of. Yeah, and Irving's not getting away this time. All right. Uh, one thing to note is I did bring my magnum. I do know what's coming. Uh. I didn't cheat, I just remembered that, you know, I owe you we're about to face some very not happy people. Thanks. I want to clear out my inventory so I can pick up some stuff, so. Alright. Look, it's Irving. Alright, um. You gotta chase Irving. Get a whole bunch of fun guys. Um, remember, th these are not uh, the, the what are they called? The tribal guys, I guess. So um, you gotta, you know, you gotta be a little worried about shooting them in the head because of that. Yeah. Ow! Jerk. I come up here because, uh, okay. one, I can set her up doing that, and that, you know, that ladder protects, yeah, that ladder protects us a little bit because you can just keep knocking them down. Uh, kind of hoping I can take this guy out. Where he gets up here. Alright, let's uh. Frag grenade. That's helpful. Alright, Cheva, out of boy. Jumped through an arrow. Yeah. See, the, the critical shots on the pistol are. So, so very nice because even if they do, most of the time, even if they do bring out the, the big spiky arm guys or whatever they are, there's a guy running around here. I kind of want to make sure I get him. You guys see him? Oh, there you are. Yeah. So that was nice. I just pulled up and fired. And so we pulled this lever. Go take a trip. Let's go take a trip across. However, I'm pulling out my Magnum, which has been upgraded to I think it does 2,000 damage. And uh, and I'm doing that because I got Mr. One Eye Shotgun or One Eye Chainsaw Guy. And he's a jerk. So where is he kind of coming? There you be. Alright, so I'm not going to use a lot of ammo on him. Or a lot, all my magnum ammo. I'm going to try to use that. Back him up a little bit. There. Alright. Mostly because shotgun ammo is much easier to come by. 
than uh, magnum ammo. And we'll have plenty of bosses that are going to need magnums and, and the like. So, yeah. I mean, that guy wasn't... Once you get the magnum, really, those uh, shotgun guys don't become a... You know, I just did something really stupid. And you guys get to know. Because, you know, when you're over there, you're supposed to turn that. And I didn't. So we get to watch this thing come back. Come back. Yeah. What I was saying is that once you get the Magnum, uh, those big guys, unless you get like overwhelmed completely, the combination of 